All right, so we left off over here where we were talking about the generic operators within Simulink, but now let's talk about electrical operators. So to find the electrical operators, you can go over here to Simscape. And again, remember that I said that when you install your version of Simulink, if you don't have it already, you should install the Simscape package because that's going to have the electrical and mechanical and hydraulic, just some of the blocks that we're going to need throughout the course. So if you go under Simscape here and go under Foundation Library, you're going to see that we're going to have all the domains over here. So we have electrical, gas, hydraulic, isothermal, magnetic, mechanical, so on and so forth. So within those, of course, then we can find some components or some blocks that are specific to that domain or that field of engineering. So for example, if we go here on their electrical and we're going to focus on electrical and mechanical for now, but if you go here on their electrical and go on their electrical elements, then you're going to find general elements that are commonly found in circuits as for example, capacitors, resistors, electrical reference or a ground, essentially a diode an op amp ideal transformers, inductors, that kind of stuff. So generic elements, electrical elements, that is, that are commonly found in electric circuits. Now, of course, we also have sensors. So we have a current and voltage sensor. Of course, those are the two main electrical quantities. So we can measure current flow through a circuit and voltage across certain components in a circuit. And likewise, of course, we also have sources of quote unquote electricity. So we have an AC current source, AC voltage source. We also have controlled source. Notice here that for control source, we have a third input, which is going to be the control signal for our source. And we also have current control current source, current control voltage source, DC sources over here, and voltage controlled current and voltage sources. So again, these are kind of the basic electrical elements, and these are the ones that we're going to be using in some of the examples. But essentially anything that you want to find that's electrical related, you're going to find it here under the Simscape Foundation Library and then electrical. And again, you have a few options over here. Now, of course, as I mentioned before, if you're not sure whether a block does something that you're trying to do and again i mentioned that usually you're going to need some help if the blocks are a little bit more complex than than some of the simpler blocks but for example if we go here to electrical elements you know that a capacitor is very simple it's just an electrical component it has two terminals it's very simple you're probably not going to need help with that now let's say that you weren't sure how this current control current source works that one's a little bit more complex, so that one you might need help for. So again, if you need help for a block, you can simply right click on it and go to help. And then, of course, it's going to say help for the and then the block that you're right clicking on. So in this case, help for the current control current source block. And if you click on that, that's going to bring up the documentation for that specific block. So you can see that block over here, for example, and again, it gives you a description of what it is, some of the parameters, some of the ports, you know, what the inputs mean. And usually there's examples over here, but it looks like for this one, there isn't an example here where we can see that block being used. But again, from here, you can see a description and not just the description, in general of what the block is but also what the parameters are within the block and what also the ports in the block do so again if you're trying to get help if you're not sure what a block does specifically you can simply just go to the help menu and it's going to give you an explanation of what that block exactly does and then you can see from that if that's what you're looking for or not